Guys, this is my full review of AOS KP on the GSM Galaxy Nexus. So let's jump right into settings. Let's go down to about phone. And as you can see right here, we are running AOKP Maguro on official October 19th. That was yesterday. I just updated it today though, so sorry about the late update. But it's basically the same with a few fixes. And then we have the kernel that comes with it, which is the tuna. Not even gonna not even gonna try it in this video. If we go back up, you see we have ROM control, themes, and device options. So if we go into device options first, you can mess with like the uh, colors of your screen and also like the vibrator tune back, stuff like that. And then of course we have our theme chooser. You see I'm running neutralized. I think it looks kind of cool. So, And then we go to the ROM control. It's basically the same as the AOKP official, but Fitznugly updates it a little bit more. He updates it daily or every every other day I believe so it's a little more updated than the AOKP builds the official but as you see we have general UI so we can have custom boot animations we can disable the boot animation we can have a custom carrier label choose notification background notification background alpha notification count vibrate on expand KLaw button um, RAM, which so when you press this, you can see your RAM, which I, I think is kind of useful. 180 degree rotation, menu UI overflow. So there's just a lot. Hi, some system bar stuff. An example of the compat mode button. Not sure what that compat mode button is actually. Wait for this to come back up. Any minute. And here we go. So I don't see where it changed anything, but I'm going to disable. Okay. Uh, okay, good. We can hit this button. So if we keep moving, we have lock screen, which they finally have quick, like, shortcuts on lock screen. So if we go down, we can have lock screen targets amount. And I have it set to 8. Also, a quick pin unlock, weather. You guys should know the weather by now. You can have the weather panel or the text. And also, you can have your calendar. So, and also you can turn on lock screen notation. So, if I lock this, and I unlock it, you can see I have the weather, I have the battery percentage, the clock, and I have my eight shortcuts right here, so I can just go over to unlock it. And let's go back. Power menu, I'm not really gonna go into that. Power menu is when you press and hold. You can choose the little shortcuts that pop up. Navigation bar, you can still have up to seven buttons. I have where I long press, it goes to my widgets, which I think is kind of cool. So I can hit play, skip, like the song. This is a Google Play, the Play Music widget, sorry. Um, you also have their nav bar rings, so I have it set to camera, and have it set to plume, so I can launch those no matter where I'm at. Um, you can choose the height of the navigation bar, you can choose the width, stuff like that. And also you can configure your widgets. So, you see I have the My Play Music widget. You can configure those, you can change, you can add more than just one too, by the way. And you can just swipe between them when you press that, but I just wanted to keep it, keep it uh, clean and simple. Go back up here and show you that you can have seven. So if I enable seven, you see there's like a, some question marks and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go back down to three, because I think the three looks simple. It looks kind of simple and clean with the theme that I have. So, um, if we go up here to battery, we can choose the battery icon style. You see, I have it to icon only because this theme automatically changes it to the circle mod. So, that's why I have it on icon only. We can have the battery icon and notifications. We can have a battery bar. I don't really use the battery bar, but it's like a My UI kind of thing where it goes across. It just wouldn't really look good with this theme. So, that's why I don't have it you know, enabled. We can have center clock, left clock, right. I think we can have it on the right. Yeah. I mean, center and right clock, my bad. And also no clock, and you can have AM, PM, and day of the week. And you can also change the color. Toggles. So if I pull this down, these are the toggles that I have. I have the Wi Fi, data, GPS, vibrate, touch, torch, my bad, and NFC. So if I tap torch, 
it turns that on and also NFC which NFC should be on not sure why it's showing off but um, we can go to enable toggles and you can see these are all the toggles that we can have enabled so I'm going to close out of that if you don't like the layout like that you can also have them to where they're aligned at the top which that looks I don't know it looks pretty cool too but that just matches my theme more so and you can also have it where it's icon or text only and then you can change your brightness location you, you can change your background stuff like that so let's keep going signal you can change the color you can change the text layout and stuff like that I don't really mess with it but if you do it's kind of cool and under LED you can control how, how long the LED is on how long the LED is off you can control which apps like so if I wanted it to blink blue for plume which it does by default but if it didn't I could select the, that app and I could change it so that it did also you can have LED flash while screen is on um, that kind of kills your battery a lot so and also you can have LED while the screen well while it's charging so if I find my charger oh and it doesn't reach huh sorry let me find another charger but if you know like an HTC phone how they have it to where it pops up so if I plug this in you can see it pops up with it charging it's kind of yellow but you can't really see it with the because of my camera but it's yellow and so that's what it looks like when it's charging and also if your battery is like dying it's under 10 percent it will blink red which looks kind of cool I like HTC phones and other Samsung phones do but since this phone like it doesn't really do that it only blinks so you can have the volume panel so when you hit volume up you can hit settings and you can control your volume panel sorry let's go back and also you can have less frequent notification sounds headphones plugged in action phone call silence when you turn the phone face down you can also change that um, weather this is where you enable the weather this is where you have your location since I have GPS on it automatically finds my location but you can show your location metric units I don't want it in Celsius so I don't have that selected um, and I have it to refresh every three hours to help save battery life a little bit and also have it above the carrier text so I don't know, actually, weather's not there. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if the weather just hasn't refreshed, but it's not above my carrier text at the moment, so it should refresh soon, though, and it'll be back up there. Um, if we go into vibrations, you can set your own vibration pattern, which I think is really cool, but I personally haven't used it, but if you go to record, you tap. And like whatever you tap, that's what your new vibration thing is. So that's actually pretty cool. And of course, if we go down to performance, we can set how fast our CPU goes. We can set the governor. And also we can set the IO scheduler. And if we go over to voltage settings, and then we of course have other settings. So let's go back, let's go back. And that's pretty much it for custom settings. If we go under developer options, we don't really have anything out of the ordinary under here either. So let's go back, go back to the home screen. We also have our AOKP custom wallpapers. They're called swag papers. So if we go here, you can of course see, and it also has the name of the designer who designed the wallpaper, which is pretty cool. This is page two. I'm not sure how many pages there are actually. And I still haven't figured out my Wi Fi issue. I get 40 down on my computer, 30 down on my tablet, my Incredible 2 gets 30 down, and this phone gets 3 down. So I haven't figured out what's the error. I actually know that guy, Gleesbo. Name's Glenn. I actually know him. I just figured I should throw that out there. Um. There are no custom apps that come with this, but if we go into camera, there are a few camera settings. So 
I'm trying to hit it. So if we go under camera, you can choose your picture size, of course. You can use the power button as a shutter. You can have you can change the focus mode to continuous. Also you have macro and infinity and then auto. So let's go back to continuous. Also you have burst mode. So if you select five and let's go back. So if I want to take a picture. And it it isn't really that fast, but oh but it had to focus on it. So I don't really use the burst shots, but I mean, if your camera works well with it, then I mean, you know, that works. And it's also a pretty cool feature if you want to use that. Oh, a little bit of lag right there. So let's, let me show you guys the boot animation and that'll be, actually no, let me show you guys the battery life. Then I'll show you guys the boot animation. So if we go to battery, you see I have 8 hours 7 minutes but my screen on time is 1 hour and 20 minutes and I still have 46% left so I think that's pretty pretty good oops didn't mean to hit that so go to reboot and we will reboot the phone now and I will leave you guys with the awesome AOKP initiating swagger boot animation And my friend Glenn just asked if he he should clean the truck out for me to sleep in the back of it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> not sure. You can kind of see it like that. I'm not sure why it's so bright. There we go. See it a little better now, actually. I think it looks pretty sweet. But alright guys, this this has been my full review of AOKP Jelly Bean by Fitznugly, the unofficial builds. It has been an awesome ROM. It has great battery life. No performance issues, but yeah, a little bit of lag every now and then. But my phone is getting kind of dated, so that's kind of come to known. It's expected. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any recommendations for any ROMs, leave a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe with the button up there.